Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another declutter video, but it's going to be a little bit different of a declutter video because we're decluttering my closet. So let me show you my closet. So my closet's actually in the guest room because um, Adam takes up way too much space. Um, so it may not look bad right this second, but I don't know if you can see all the hangers all the way back. Let me actually pull them forward. Here we go. You can see that. How many hangers? And then two of the hangers are actually wonder hangers. I don't know. Yeah. And then I have two shelves of stuff. And I'm not going to lie. I don't wear over half of it. Um... I do have this right here. Please don't mind this stuff in the back. This is one of my friends. We're just storing it for her. Um, her and I are kind of going through it, organizing it, and then we're putting it in the attic for her. But anyway, um, so I just have this tote for anything that um, may not fit at the moment, but I want to keep. Um, so, like, for instance, why does my arm look so weird there? Um, last year, around this time, actually, I lost a good amount of weight, and I bought clothes to fit that weight, and then because of circumstances, Adam losing jobs, so on and so forth, I've gained a good chunk of that weight back. You can probably see it in my face. I do plan on losing that weight again, so I'm going to put, like, those clothes in the tote. Um... February of 2017, I was pregnant. I ended up having a miscarriage. And before I had the miscarriage in preparation, I bought maternity clothes. I don't want to get rid of those because maternity clothes are expensive. But they don't need to stay in my closet right now either. So, let's just get into it. Uh, where am I going to sit? Right here, maybe? That works. Okay. So, first thing is this Knights of Halloween t-shirt I got at Universal. It is in a size extra extra large, but it does fit kind of tight on me. So I am going to put this in the tote because Universal was such a great experience and I want to remember it forever. Um, and I do really like this shirt. It's just, it's not going to fit me right now, but as soon as I lose that weight again, it's going to be worn. All right, so next shirt. This is actually one of the maternity shirts I got. So just a very simple t-shirt I figured would be nice. So I am going to keep that as well and put that in the tote. The tote's just going to go in my attic um, for storage. Um, okay. So, next is another maternity shirt. This is actually a tank top, and it does that? No, it doesn't. Um, but it's just another maternity shirt. Uh, so I am going to keep that as well. So far, this decluttering process is not going well. Um, but it is still freeing up space in my closet, and that's kind of the most important part of this. Okay. And yet yeah, another maternity tank top. So again, I am going to keep this. Um, and just stick it in my tote. All right. Here we go. So this is a cover up that I have. Um, kind of like a cardigan kind of thing. It's a pale like baby pink. I am going to get rid of this. I've worn it once in the past three years. It was for a baby shower where I was teen girl and uh, not baby shower, a gender revealed party. I was teen girl, so I wore it um, and I haven't worn it since. And that was back in 2016. So I am going to get rid of this. I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to put everything I'm getting rid of on the guest bed. Alright. Okay. 
This one's tough. So, I forget where I got this. I want to say I got it at Walmart. It's a, like, crocheted white vest. I think it's super cute. Um, but I've only worn it once. I think the hard part for me is I have a hard time trying to style this one. I don't really know what to put it with. Like, it obviously isn't going to go with this dress. Um, so... <sighs> I'm going to get rid of it, actually. I was going to keep it for, like, another year, see how I can style it. But honestly, I've had it for a while now. And if I haven't really worn it since, then I'm probably not going to. So this is a tank top that my mother-in-law gave me from Old Navy. It is in a large. Um, I am going to keep this. I think it's just a nice, simple tank top that you can wear with shorts during the summertime. So I am going to keep that. Okay, so this shirt my mother-in-law gave me. I think it's super cute, but it's a little too revealing um, for me personally. It goes down very low and I don't have a lot of uh a lot in the boobage department so it doesn't hold it very well so I am going to get rid of that as well I'm gonna take out the hangers because that's gonna get annoying all right so okay um this was a gift from my mother-in-law it's an a size small that's not gonna fit me anytime soon because even when I lost all that weight last year I just went from a double XL to an L in shirts so I can get rid of that um the next shirt this is actually oh we're on to one of the wonder hangers so all right this is a sweater my mother-in-law gave me it is in a size large so when I lose the weight, this in theory should fit. Um, I got it at a time where I was starting to gain the weight back. So I haven't gotten to wear it yet, but I do think it's super cute. I love this detail on the bottom. I also think it'd be really nice for if and when I do ever get pregnant. Not because I think it would just be like super cute. It would flatter a future bump. Um, no plans of getting pregnant at this moment, but definitely thinking for the future. Um, so I am going to keep that. All right. Um, sh this is a shirt that my mother-in-law gave me. It is in a size medium. So again, the smallest size I've been in shirts is, um, a large. So, I am going to get rid of this. And this is not me being ungrateful for everything my mother-in-law has given me. I am very grateful. I'm just trying to be realistic in what I think I'm going to be able to wear once I do lose the weight. So, this is another sweater that she gave me. Um, this is in a medium, but it looks like it runs a little big. Um, and the way that this is it might actually work out for like if I do ever get pregnant and it might work out a little bit that way and again the bottom is just super cute so I do think I'm gonna keep this one because it does look like it runs a little bit on the big side so all right this one also from my mother-in-law it's in a size medium this is definitely a true medium um, I love the color, but if I'm being honest with myself, I don't think it's ever going to fit me. So I'm going to get rid of that. Ooh, I love this top. I never wear this top, but I love this top. This is in a double XL. It's from Target. You've seen it in a couple of videos, um, but I do really, really like this top. I think it flatters me quite nicely, so I am going to keep this one for a little longer all right this tank top is an xl 
I think it's super cute and I have red shorts that this goes nicely with but even once I grow like once I shrink down and don't fit into those shorts anymore I do have other shorts that I think this would go nicely with too so I am going to keep that all right this is another maternity tank top um that I bought when I was pregnant um, back in 2017. So I am going to keep this as well. If I can get it off, there we go. Um, I'm just going to put it in the tote like I am with everything else maternity. Um, oh. so I got this shirt a couple years ago I wore it to a bridal shower um I haven't worn it much since it is off the shoulder I do really like it I want to get some more wear in this so I am going to keep it all right so this is another maternity top um but I did find out after I purchased it that is actually too small for me. Um, so I am actually going to get rid of it. It's too small for me in the boob area. And that's saying a lot considering I don't got a lot there. So I am going to get rid of this. And when I say get rid of, as long as everything's in good condition, I'm just going to donate it to Savers. Um, Savers, if you don't know what Savers is, Savers is kind of like a Goodwill. But what's nice about Savers is their profits, a portion of their profits go to the Epilepsy Foundation. Um, epilepsy does run in my family. So I think it's just a cause that I really like to support. So Savers is a company that I really like to support. Um, this is another, these next two are both maternity. But they're both in the same situation as that last top where they're just too small but the, this one's so cute guys like leopard come on um but again they're just they're not gonna fit so if i can there we go Doop. all right so that's one wonder hanger um done now we're going to go on to the other Wonder Hanger. All right, so this is actually one of my most favorite tops. I got it at Target from the Knox and Rose collection. It is a double XL. I don't wear it too often because the sleeves did shrink a little bit in the dryer. Um, so I've learned not to dry it. But I do want to keep this. Um, it is wicked cute. And it is really nice and baggy. I do actually think Knox Rose is one of their maternity lines. Um, I didn't realize that when I purchased this, but because of that, it's also going to go really nicely to when I am pregnant, but I do still wear it not pregnant. So I am going to keep that. Uh, I got this shirt at Walmart and I do think it's super cute. I actually keep forgetting I have this shirt, so I am going to keep this cause I do want to wear it long again. It is from the new time and true line from Walmart really cute all right so this shirt um this was from charlotte roos another really cute shirt another one that kind of cinches in at the waist and flows out um and it does still fit me so i am going to keep that one this is another maternity shirt that i wear I was not pregnant. I do have kind of a belly. Um, not, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not fat. I'm just a little overweight. Um, so I do like shirts that kind of hide that. Um, so I do actually wear this one not pregnant. So I am going to keep that one. And I am going to keep that one in the closet. Um, so this shirt is from Charlotte Rose. I'm going to get rid of it. I liked it at one point. It is no longer my style. It doesn't fit right either. So I am going to get rid of that. Oh, that was hard. 
um, this shirt. It's an XL, but I've never really been all that comfortable in it. So I am going to get rid of that. I forget who gave me that one. I forget who gave me this one too, but I am going to get rid of it. Um, it's, I'm, I'm just not a fan of it anymore. I've washed it so many times that it's become majorly see-through. So it's just time. And this shirt... I am going to keep um it's from dots it's in a size medium but it still fits me quite well and again it cinches in at the waist and kind of goes out I really like that for hiding you know my problem areas so I am going to keep that as well so that was both wonder hangers so we can keep going so I originally thought this was a dress turns out it's a shirt um my mother-in-law gave it to me. It's a medium. I'm not a fan of the way it fits, so I am going to get rid of that. All right. So this is a turtleneck that my mother-in-law gave me. It is in a size medium. It did fit last winter. It will not fit me as of this moment because even though it is a medium, it does run large. So I am going to keep this for when I do lose the weight again. It's just going to go in my tote. Um, oh, I love this turtleneck. So this is from the brand A New Day from Target. It's in a double XL. I really, really, really love this. I especially love it with like black leggings. I actually want to get like faux leather leggings. because I think that would be super cute with this. So I am keeping this. Like that's not going anywhere. Um, this is another one I want to keep. Um, it is a size medium. It does run a little larger. My mother-in-law gave it to me. I'm just going to put it in the tote. Why am I putting empty hangers back in there? Um, so I am going to put this in the tote. Ooh, this sweater I got for Christmas from my mother-in-law. It's really cute. It has like that cold, sh I, I don't want to say cold shoulder because it's only like a little slit. So it's kind of got some slits and it got, it's got some distressing and I have some black and white leggings in there that it looks really cute with. So I am going to keep that. Ugh. I have a brace on my knee right now and I keep sliding down. All right. So this top, it's from Mossimo. It's a double XL. I got it at Target. Um, it doesn't fit right. It likes to ride up and show my belly. So I am actually going to get rid of that. Um, oh, another favorite from the Knox Rose line is this chunky, chunky sweater. I love this in the fall in the winter. More the fall because it does have like the see-through like detailing. Um, totally keeping this. Hides everything I want to hide. And it'll be great for uh, future family planning. This was another... Um, uh, sweater that my mother-in-law gave me. It is in size large. But again, it runs kind of big. So I am going to keep this. And I am going to keep it in the closet. This is another sweater I'm loving. It's actually more of a sweater dress. It's also in the size large. Um, I am going to keep this, but because this runs true to size, I am going to keep it in the tote. Super cute, though. I love it. That with some leggings, yes. Um, so, this is a denim button-up that I bought from Target. It's in an XL. And I just love the way this looks with some leggings. I know I keep mentioning leggings, but like leggings is life. Um, and I just don't wear denim with denim. Um, but I really, really like this top. So I do plan on keeping that. Um, ooh. So this is a sweater from Maurice's. It is in a size large. I find this runs pretty true to size. So, because I feel like it's supposed to be oversized. So I am going to keep it, but I'm going to put it in the tote. Um, this was a gift from 
my mother-in-law and I love the color on it. It is like this beautiful dark green color, so I'm keeping it. Um, this is a sweater that I got from uh, TJ Maxx. It is Calvin Klein. It is a gorgeous warm turtleneck. Um, it is a size large though and it runs very true to size, so I am going to stick that in the tote. Ooh. Um, so I got a couple, so this is, I'm not really sure what to call this. It's, uh, like a sweater vest. It is in a size large. I haven't worn it in so long and honestly, I don't see me wearing it again. So I am going to get rid of that. I do have a couple flannels now. Um, so there's this flannel. It's in a 2X. Um, this is just a flannel that I love to wear like tied around my waist when I wear like this with either a tank top or a t-shirt and it's just Yeah So I'm keeping that this flannel Is in a medium and this is very true to size um, Because it is a boyfriend style. So it does run more into a large so I am going to toss this into the tote because like, I love that color. I really do. But it currently does not fit. Um, this is another one. This is in a large. Um, runs very true to size. So, again, going to stick it in the tote. Um, and, again, all the ones in the tote, I'm hoping by next year I can wear... All the ones that are a little too small for me right now. Um, this is a, another flannel. This is by Wild Fable. It is a little bit cropped um, and it is in a size large. It does run true to size. Um, even if it didn't though, because it's cropped, I am going to throw it in the tote. Right now, I'm just not comfortable enough to wear a cropped shirt like I was last year. Um, so, throwing that in the tote. This is another one in the size large, the same uh, one as the flannel I showed you a couple flannels ago. So I am going to throw that in the tote as well. Um, you know. And then this is a, another maternity top. Um, it's super cute. So I am going to keep this, but I am going to throw it in the tote. Sorry if you can hear the bird. He's being like obnoxious right now. So this is another example of a maternity top that I bought that I literally wear year round because it, it hugs me in the right places, but it still hides the things I want to hide. So I am going to keep this. Um, this is a sh shirt I got at TJ Maxx. Um, I really like this shirt. I did buy it when I was pregnant. It is not a maternity shirt, but I figured, like, during those beginning stages of when I was pregnant, I could, you know, when I wasn't telling people yet, it would be a nice shirt to, like, hide the belly with. Um, obviously that did not last. Um, but I am going to keep that because I do really like that. Please don't mind how wrinkly this neck shirt is. But this is just a white, like, business casual shirt that I have. Um, I do need to get a white tank top to put under it. But it is really cute. I am going to keep it. It is from the brand A New Day. It is in an XL. Um, here's another flannel in that 2XL size. Um, that, again, I just really like tying it around my waist. Um... And then, again, please excuse the wrinkles. This is another, like, business, like, type shirt. It's in an XL. This does fit a little weird across the boobs. So I am going to put it in the tote. Um, because I think once I'm a large, that will fit a little bit better. Um, so. This shirt I got at Walmart. It's so stinking cute. Um, it is in an XL. It kind of just ties down here. I think it's really cute. I have a red tank top to go underneath. I am going to keep that. 
Um, this is also from A New Day. Yeah. This shirt is also from A New Day. I really love the color of this. It's like a brown orange and it has like copper metallic throughout it. I am going to keep this. That is fairly new. My sister, my stepsister gave this to me. Um, it fit me at the time that she gave it to me. It does not fit me anymore. So I am going to get rid of this. Um, this top I just bought not too long ago. Super, super cute. It flows on me just the right way. It's like a quarter length top. I really, really love it. So I am going to keep it. <laughs> Um, this cardigan, oh, I love this cardigan. I got it at Walmart a couple years ago, but it's like just chunky and like it hangs nicely. So I am going to keep it, but this cardigan, I loved this cardigan for many, 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 many years. Um, it is just nice and big and flowy and it's kind of like poncho style where it has the drapes on the bottom but I am gonna get rid of it I think it's I've just I've had it for so long that I don't really wear it anymore you know you just kind of get bored so all right so now we're gonna move on to the shelves so let's start right here actually so these are recent editions um this is my rainbow pledge mom shirt my khaki skirt and two like black pairs of slacks I am going to keep these I'm just going to put them right here for a minute um so now we'll go into my jeans so this is a pair of like dusty pink skinny jeans I am going to keep those but they are going to go in the tote because they are just a tad bit small on me right now it won't take long for me to get into those but I'd rather just put them in there. These are like a gray straight leg that my mother-in-law gave me. These, what size are they? Are a 10, but they 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 fit more like a 12, which I can fit into a 12 right now. Oh jeez. Trying to Okay. So I am going to keep those. Um these are a green pair of jeans that I have. These are 16. They are a tiny bit big on me right now, but I am going to keep them because I'd rather have something that's a tiny bit big in my closet than something that's too small. Um, these are another green pair of pants. Or are they gray? I can't tell in this lighting. Um, these are a 14, so they will fit me. So I am going to put them over here. Um, these are pink. Pretty sure they used to be white and I turned them pink. They are a 12, so they will fit. So I am going to put those back in. A couple more pairs of jeans. So these are just like classic blue. Um, they're from Michael Kors. These do not fit me currently. They are a size 10. So I am going to put them in the tote. I was so happy when I bought those guys. I found them at TJ Maxx for 20 bucks. Uh, so I'm kind of sad that they don't fit. These were my holy grail jeans before I lost all the weight. These are from American Eagle. I will keep these. They probably fit me perfectly again. So. Um, these. Are also from the Massimo line. These are the same as those green ones I showed you. Um, so I am going to keep these again. They're a tad bit big, but I'd rather something a tad bit big than something that's too small. And then these are from Wild Fable. These are too small. Um, they are a size 10. So I am going to put them on the tote. We'll, in the tote, we will see what happens. Um, but I did really like those the one time that I was able to wear them. Um, so... We're going to put these back. 
Um, before I had my colored jeans and my blue jeans separate, but now that I kind of got a rainbow stack going, I am going to put them all together and put my rainbow stack next to it where the blue jeans were. Again, it doesn't feel like I got rid of a lot so far, but I mean, in retrospect, I kind of have. <laughs> Even if it's just going in the tote, I'm considering that a success because it's not in my closet right now. I'm not going to try to squeeze into it right now. Um, so, alright. Let's go on to the next pile. Alright. So, this... Ooh, I love this shirt. Okay. It's just like a plain white t-shirt. There's literally nothing special to it, but I love it so much, so I'm going to keep it. Ah, uh, this next shirt. I for I got this at Forever No, I got this at Charlotte Russe. And on the it's just like this olive green on the pocket. It says best day ever. I don't know why, but I always wear this while someone when I'm helping someone move or if I'm moving myself, but I am going to keep it. I do really, really like that shirt. Oh. So this is a white polo shirt that my mother-in-law gave me. I am going to get rid of it. I'm not a huge fan of polo shirts. I don't know why I kept it to begin with. Oh, and now we're on to some leggings. These are short leggings. So they, oh no, these are long. Okay. I will add. So there's these leggings that I got for Christmas from my husband back when we were dating. I forget what it says on the side. Exhilaration, maybe? Oh, no. Live, love, dream. Okay. I am going to keep these. And then... I'm just going to do that. I have these ones that my mother-in-law gave me. They're just leggings from Victoria's Secret. Got a nice tie-dye. I personally did not buy these. As you know, I don't support um, purchasing from Victoria's Secret anymore, but I am going to keep them because they were gifted to me. Um, these, I don't remember these. Oh, these are another pair of Victoria's Secret ones. I got them for Christmas. Super comfortable. Um, and as long as I'm not personally purchasing from them, I don't mind. Um, and these ones are from Family Dollar. They have this nice, like, oh, uh, lace tail tailing on the back. So I am going to keep those as well. Um, so since we're on the topic of leggings, let's just go into the next pile. So I know for a fact that the next pile is leggings. This is all colored leggings. So these ones, are like a gray with like a silver metallic. I am going to keep these. Super pretty. Then I got my navy blue. Keeping those. I don't remember this pair. Oh, this is my other pair of pink. So this is another pair of black Victoria's Secret. These are the black and white leggings I was telling you about that went, go really well with that sweater. So I'm keeping those. Um, these are brown. I don't really wear them. So I'm going to get rid of those. These have flowers on them. I don't really wear them. I'm going to get rid of those. And these, whoo, maroon and black ones. They go with a, another sweater that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. So I am going to keep these. So I am going to put all leggings in one pile for now. Um, I originally had it separated between black and colored. But, um, hey. When you need space, you need space. All right, so more tops. Okay, so this is from the Time and True line. It is just a basic long sleeve tee. It is in a size large, so it won't fit me right now, but hopefully by this time next year it will. So I am going to put it in the tote. All right, this, I don't remember this. Okay, so this is an XL, so this, in theory, should fit me right now. 
Um, so I am going to keep this, um, but I am going to hang it up now that I have some free space. This, this shirt's more like a hang-me-up kind of shirt. All right. So that's that. This one. Oh, this is my um, hoodie that came with one of the pairs of um, leggings that I got. So I am going to keep that. Why won't it fold? So I am going to keep this. Again, I'm not a supporter of Victoria's Secret anymore, but if it's purchased for me, I will buy it. Um, so this is a yellow cardigan. <sighs> I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I liked it at the time. It's just not really my style anymore. I like cardigans, but I like more of the like nice, big, chunky cardigans, and that's not that. Um... This is another Victoria's Secret sweater, but it is in a large. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity just to get rid of it. Um, this shirt. What size are you? This is in a large as well. And I really did like this shirt when I was able to wear it last year. So I am going to keep that. All right, this is in a size medium. So I am going to get rid of it. Oh, actually, it runs a little big, though. I'm going to keep this because it looks like it runs large. And I'm going to put it in the tote. And hopefully I'll be able to wear that next year. All right, this shirt... It's black and white striped. It is medium. It is very true to size. It did not fit me when I was a large, so I am going to get rid of that. Um, all right. So that's that pile. Um, that pile just, we kept three. Wow. Good job, pass. All right. Whew. All right. This next pile, this, this pile is kind of lounge clothing. Um, ooh, messing it up. I'm messing it up. Okay. So we have this shirt. It says Iron Tail Saloon from Acton, Maine. And it is a large. That is not a large. I'm getting rid of that. Um, this was a gift from my mother in law. It is in, I want to say, an XO. Yeah. It is an XL. I forget where she got it from, but I am going to keep it. I like the color. It's something I can just lounge around in. Um, I do have a full, a full drawer of clothes that I lounge in in the other room, but okay, nothing wrong with having another one. Um, so actually I'm not going to do that yet. Um, this is says go pink or go home. I'm assuming for breast cancer. It says, it doesn't say the size. Yeah, it is for breast cancer. It doesn't say the size, but there's no way that's going to fit me ever. Um, this says hope on it. Super cute, but what? Again, another, that's saying it's an XL. If that's an XL, then I'm, I'm obese. Um, yeah, that's a no-go. What size is this? This is a large? There's no way that's a large. Jeez. No wonder why so many girls have a complex on their size. I feel like you're still too high. There we go. Um, that's not going to fit. Cute, but not going to fit. Cute, but not going to fit. Definitely not going to fit. 
That, again, that's saying it's an XL. What is wrong with these clothing brands? That's not going to fit. See, I'm doing good now. Uh, definitely not going to fit. Not going to fit. Oh, ooh. This might actually fit next year, so I'm going to put this in the tote. So out of that whole pile, we kept one shirt in the closet. Right here. Got some more lounge stuff. Um, I'm actually just going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. None of them really fit properly, even when I was smaller. And I'm not a huge sweatpant person, so. Um, all right. Wow, look how much better that's looking already, guys. All right, so. I'm scared. Oh, jeez. Okay. I feel like you guys still aren't, like, I don't know. So, this is another shirt I got at Universal. It's literally Betty Boop. It's in an XL, so it should fit me right now. Um, super cute, but it's got some stains on it, so I am going to get rid of it, which is so sad. Um, this is another maternity shirt that I bought when I was pregnant back in 2017, so I'm going to keep this. And just put it in the tote. Okay, this one, <laughs> this one's not going anywhere okay so this one is another shirt i bought at universal it is harry potter it's got the dark mark on it totally keeping this t-shirt i love it this is one of the t-shirts i love wearing with distressed jeans and wearing one of those flannels around my waist yes girl i love this shirt i don't know why i love this shirt so dang much but i do it's from Marona. It's in an XL, so it fits. It's got little pineapples all over it. So, again, I'm going to keep. And then I'm going to get rid of this shirt. It's from Charlotte Russe. Um, It's cute, but, like, I never could figure out a way to style it the way I wanted to. So I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this I got at Family Dola. I think it's really cute. I love it, but I, I do want to cut off this part. I do like the fact that that part's there, but that part's just so stretched out that it kind of ruins it. So I'm just going to cut that part off. Other than that, I am going to keep it. All right. So this is a Ralph Lauren shirt that will not fit. This might fit next year. It's a medium, but it looks like it runs big. So I am going to keep that one um, for next year. Um, that's not going to fit. That's not going to fit. And what? I've got some white capris in a size 12, so I'm going to keep those. All right. We're doing so good, guys. Alright. Okay. 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 Oh. Alright, so these are another pair of capris. I don't know what the size is. Ten. So these are going to go in for next year. Uh, this is another maternity tank top that I bought back in 2017, but it doesn't even look like it would fit me now, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, and these are all my, like, short leggings, and I'm telling you right now, I'm keeping them all. They're nice for summer. Although I didn't wear a single one of them this summer. Oh, jeez! Okay, I guess that means we're doing short six. This 
This is why we're doing the declutter, guys. This. Oh. Okay, we're doing this. Um, there are these jeans. They're boot cut, but I don't know if you can tell. The inside thighs are completely worn out, so I am going to get rid of those. That's a sad day. I've had those for a long time. Um, I got these shorts from the Wild Fable section at Target. They are a size 10. They do not fit me right now. Hopefully next year. Um, by the way, if any of those clothes don't actually fit next year, I will get rid of them. I got these for my mother-in-law. Super cute, super cozy, super comfortable. Um, also another one for my mother-in-law. Super comfortable. These ones, um, also from the Wild Fable line super freaking cute um don't fit right now so in the tote they go um these are another pair of capris they are in a size eight so those are going in the tote all right so we got these pair of shorts i actually really like wearing these with the black and white button up that i have so totally keeping that um, then I have these red shorts. These are the red shorts I was telling you about with that red, um, tank top in there. So keeping these. Man, I love these shorts. They're so stinking cute. Um, so totally keeping those. And this is actually a skirt, right? Nope. These are shorts. I lied. Um, super cute as well. So, we did pretty good. Could have been worse. I'm going to bring these down just because we're still kind of in summer right now. So, might as well. We're going to go through the rest of the shirts. And maybe depending on how much we get rid of this, I can bring those two stacks down as well. Hold on one moment. Sorry, I had to adjust myself. Why do I feel like... I don't know. Um, so, this is in a medium. Getting rid of that. This says... Soul of a Mermaid, Mouth of the Sailor, and it's an XL. I love this tank top. My mother-in-law gave it to me when she got it for me when she went to Hawaii. Um, I am going to get rid of this tank top. My mother-in-law did get it for me um, back when we went to Florida in 2015. Um, it's just not my style anymore, so I am going to get rid of that. I'm also going to get rid of this. Again, it's just it's not my style anymore. Um, also going to get rid of that, going to get rid of that, going to get rid of that, like that's never going to be me. Um, I am going to keep this one. I feel like this would look super cute with a pair of denim shorts. I need to get some shorts that will fit me now. Um. Gonna get rid of that. Going to get rid of that. Gonna get rid of that. Going to get rid of that. Like all of these don't fit. All the rest don't fit, so I'm going to get rid of all of those. So, yeah, I can literally bring those two piles down. Um, so, I went from pretty much a full closet 
to half of a full closet. So I think I did really good. Um, yes, a good chunk of it went into the tote. And yes, I still have a bunch of laundry that needs to be done. So it's not quite done. I'm going to keep the tote out. I'm still going to continue to go through it over the next couple of weeks. Um, but I wanted to get the big part of it done with you guys. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just wanted to add this. Like, I was able to fit everything on the two wonder hangers. And it only took one and a half wonder hangers. And then my shelf. What? I did so good.